Hello friends, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Sarah, your friendly neighborhood word nerd. And on this channel, we like to focus on budgeting, books, whatever else comes to mind. If that sounds appealing to you, please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell to be notified each time I upload a video. Leave a comment, hit the like button, do all the YouTube things because it helps my channel grow and I love to hear from you guys. So hold on a sec. There we go. Okay. Just making sure my mic was on this time. Uh, today, what we're doing is restructuring all of my binders. Um, I was, I'm, I'm completely redoing my budget in general and the budget system that I'm using. Um, and we're going to be really drilling down in the categories. So let's get started. Now, the first one is the high yield savings account. I'm keeping the budget sheets in here, but I am removing these envelopes and I'm going to be replacing them with these envelopes. I'm aware that these aren't as, these aren't as pretty as these ones. See, these ones are all sparkly and lovely. However, um, we, I don't have access to that vendor's uh, envelopes anymore because <laughs> she hasn't restocked in forever. And um, she took like a month long vacation and still hasn't made, you know, any more new ones. So what I ended up doing instead is I took Avery, let's see, 15663 shipping labels. These ones are clear. I happen to have four and a few pages left and it was exactly what I needed to get to the very last one. So I redid all of the labels. So what we're going to do is just get started with the labels. Okay. Now, there we go. That's the first binder. Okay, just making sure there weren't any stuff together. Now, the kind of um, the kind of envelopes I picked up, I got these off of Amazon, and they don't have a zipper on them, so they lie flat, which is really nice. And, this, and they have a pretty good quality to them. Um, we're only like five bucks a pop. So, or I think it was, it was less than $6 per pack of, uh, 12. And I picked up, I think I picked up three packs. We're going to see how this works. I may end up having to pick up more. Oops. I may end up having to pick up more packs. Okay. Sorry. They have the things on the circles. You got to kind of pop them out. 
This is the easiest way to do them. There we go. All right, so these are coming out. So these are coming out and let's get all of as many of these things up here as we can. I'm going to have to vacuum. These are going everywhere. Okay. There's that, and we have car insurance. Money is going into here. Maintenance. Registration. New car is getting a new budget sheet. There we go. So new budget sheets up there. New car gets a new one. One month ahead gets a new one. What did I have? Nope. Head emergency. Now, all of the money in this one is um, prop money because all of this actual money, the cash, is in a high yield savings account. So, this is just representative of what is in my high yield savings account. Okay. Taxes. And last one is vacation, which is a new category, so it gets a new budget. Okay. Let's just make sure. Okay. There we go. All of these are in their own little pile. And that is the first binder done. Okay, so we are going to put that right here. Next binder is my sinking funds binder, which is going to be changed to blue is the shopping binder. So let me go ahead and get all of the envelopes made with their labels.
Now I may need to get more binders after this. We're going to see how they fit with what we have. Um, based on the first binder, I think it's not going to be a big deal to have 10 to 13 categories in each binder. There's dogs walking by, so my dogs are freaking out. Okay, those are all of the ones for the shopping category, which is going into light blue. Oh no, I got them switched. Okay, that's fine. Sometimes you just got to do things on the fly. All right, so you're going to figure out which ones are old categories and which ones are new. So books is definitely new. Come on. Okay, clothing. It's not new.
Sí. The next toiletries is new. Let's see. Oh, there you are. Whoops. Oh, we're getting to the edge here. Okay. There's only a couple left, so it should be okay. And last one, small appliances. Okay, so let's do that. And let's do this. Now, you may have noticed that I am doing quite a few more categories than I had previously. Oops. Well, now we know that that happens. Uh, where did you come from? So I'm doing quite a few more categories and that's because I want to really hone in on making my budget work and not just be recording or, um, listing all of my uh what's it called just expenses just like doing a expense list i don't want to be doing that from new phone gotcha okay 
Note to self, don't shake the binder too much. Okay. Okay, that'll do for that. Let me clear these out. So, yeah, with You Need a Budget, um, there's an ability to really hone in on what kind of... Um, on like what categories you're using and all of that kind of stuff. So let's see, let me get these out of the way. So um, it, in theory, in theory, it should make doing budgeting and spending and all and kind of tracking where you're at, it should make it a little bit easier. So we'll find out. <laughs> All right, let's do the last one. And this category is being called um, services and experiences. Oh, for goodness sake. These labels are not easy to see because they're clear. So it's not easy to pull them up necessarily. Getting dog hair in these things. That's all right. Last one. And I still have a few extra in case I change my mind or want to add some categories. So that's good. So let's see. The Amazon Prime. That's a new one. Is an old one.
Oops. Got to put my little sheet in there. There we go. That has nothing in it. Donations is a new one. See how much of this gets cut out. Dogs are going off. Okay, so there we have all three binders done. So to go through them really quickly, this is my high yield savings account and i think i just bumped into there sorry about that so my high yield savings account is first where we have car insurance car maintenance car registration a new car which is a new category one month ahead which i believe was actually somewhere else but now it's in here uh, Pet emergency or pet care, basically vet care, 
um, renter's insurance, taxes, and lastly is vacation, which is a new category. Basically, how do I explain this? What I'm looking to do is have room in my budget for all of these things. In order to make the room in my budget, I am creating envelopes for them. <laughs> Basically, to make room in the budget, I have to make room in my budget physically. So in the blue binder, the dark blue binder is my shopping categories. So we have books, clothing, hang on, let me, clothing, uh, cosmetics and toiletries, electronics and computers, so like a new computer, for instance, furniture, hobbies, as goodness knows, I pick those up pretty quick, home decor, new phone, which really wants to escape. Okay, there we go. Office supplies, paper products, there we go, and pet supplies, pet food. These are still a little tight because of the thingies. I don't know what to call those little circles. And then small appliances. So this would be things like dash, you know, dash kitchenware or, um, you know, a hand mixer, you know, things like that, like that aren't huge appliances, <laughs> bread maker, uh, rice cooker, things like that. So that'll be for that. So that's shopping. And my last one is, as I said before, is, um, my last one is services and experiences. So Amazon Prime, cleaning. Okay, that's good in there. Debt, donations, haircuts. Oh, actually, and haircuts gets this dollar here. Let me do that while I'm here. Because haircuts used to be called self-care, and so the, there was a dollar left over <laughs> from that. Okay, so haircuts, legal, live shows, movies, moving, pet grooming, self-care, so this would be more like um, massages, going to the spa, um, getting a manicure, or pedicure, that kind of thing. And then vet care and YNAB, which is the new program that I'm using in order to get all of this budgeting. Sorry, there's still more of these things coming out. <laughs> um, and YNAB is you need a budget. And that is what I'm using to ensure all of these categories get full. So those are my new binders. They are very full, or at least they look like they're going to get full very quickly. So I very likely will need to buy more binders and then rearrange them <laughs> so that they make sense in the categories. Um, so yeah, that's my new binder system. And uh Thanks for sitting with me while I, I go ahead and take care of that and got those all organized. Um, I think this is going to be helpful more than it hurts, I think. I'm hoping. We'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, so that's the, that's the new setup. If you're still here, thanks so much for sticking around. I really appreciate it. And if you're not, then I hope you had a wonderful time watching the video either way. And I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.